Shallow one to the Lord select. Shallow one to the Lord select. Let's begin this lesson by giving honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakdash. And let's uh, give double honors to our head apostles, the elders, the bishops uh, from the great millstone that taught us this truth and salutation. Peace to my fellow brothers out there doing this work in sincerity and in truth feeding the sheep like our king our redeemer Yahweh shall commanded us to do particularly in this last days because it's very very important this is it this is it things are escalating and the sheep need to know you know the time that we are in and we are just grateful that in the land of our captivity like we can say it enough that the Lord has given us this truth to prepare us to welcome the second coming of our king our redeemer yahusha to welcome his only begotten son and that is our salvation yahusha is our salvation then he is known as the redeemer so if you are able to receive this message again do not take it for granted count yourself extremely 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 blessed to have this truth because listen if you don't have this truth and particularly watching the events that are taking uh, that are taking uh, what is it called uh, that are taking place in all over the world today again let me say that again it's very early here you know what i mean i'm tripping over my word but uh, like i said let me repeat this if you don't have this truth and um, particularly the time that we are living in right now watching the events that are going on around the world today we're talking about third world war we're talking about the collapse of the the, the, the western empire and uh, which is what um, uh, which is why Rome 2.0, which is headed by America, eh? and they telling you that what the new world order that they are about to create involve you taking the micro to the CHIP. If you don't have this truth, you are lost. You are finished. But if you have this truth and you can see exactly what the Lord is doing, you can see how He's moving the chessboard and the chess pieces on the chessboard. You are extremely, extremely blessed okay extremely blessed and family we're not going to prolong this i hope this uh, lesson will go out there and comfort you these are the things that makes us happy because the end uh, the fall of esau's kingdom is the beginning of our kingdom esau self-proclaimed white man and eh? uh the one ruling right now the edomite nation this is the end they are known as what esau Okay, they don't, they are not white, they are not European, Caucasian, all these names, fancy names that they've given themselves. No, they are the biblical Edomite. Okay, Esau, uh, uh, what is it called? Second Ezra 6 9. He says, Esau, self proclaimed white man, is the end of the world. He's the end of this age. And Jacob, the so called Negroes, Latinos, African American, Native American, and eh, eh, they are known as what? That's right. Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. And the Lord Yahweh, through His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai, is not coming to save everybody. Eh? Forget what you learn in plantation Christianity. Oh no, not everybody can come to the Lord. No, it's a remnant, an elect that were picked before the foundation of this earth to receive this glorious gospel. So go back to the church and get your money back from your your pastor. That's why your preacher go get your money back because he taught you false doctrine. All he wanted was your money. That's why everybody can come in. It's all about how much money they can make from your TD Jakes to uh, your Joel Osteen. It's all about our prosperity gospel. They're not telling, they're not going to the prophetic books to tell you that, yes, this kingdom is about to be set on fire. America is going to burn to the ground. No, they won't tell you that. They're going to give you sweet baby stories. How the Lord, Jesus is coming to save everybody. They'll come as you are BS. But the true men of the Lord are telling you that, yes, America is going to be, that's why burned to the ground. It's going to be a desert. It's going to be a monument. Yes, this war Yahweh, through his only begotten son, is about to bring upon the, the land. Micro to the CHIP, Revelation 13, 16 is coming. Okay, it is coming. That's why it's going to go under your skin and we are telling you not to take it. And if you take it, guess what? You're going to be fuel for the fire that the Lord is bringing. You hear? But let's go here on here. This man here, the colonel, appeared on Judge Napolitano uh, talk show. And uh, the judge, uh, this man here, I know I brought it, uh, I've done lesson. I'm, I'm sorry, I've used his videos to edify the sheep many, many times. Okay, his uh, this here is called The Judging Freedom. That is the name of his his podcast. It's called Judging Freedom. The, uh, the, this gentleman here, 
the judge he used to appear on he was uh, sorry a former superior uh court judge and also he used to be on uh, fox news now he has his own podcast called judging freedom so he always bring like uh high-ranking military former military leaders you know people that are in the know of what is happening around the world and family this is how we're supposed to be occupied in prophecy looking at the events that are taking place in the world and linking it with the time that we are in that's why the bible says measure out the time diligently in itself this is how we know uh, that this is how we know the time that we are in in terms of prophecy you see the event that are happening in the world that's what the lord told us and eh? when there shall be rumors let's go here let me bring a quick precept here let's before we get it let's go to matthew matthew 24 here what the uh, uh what is it called the king our king the one the world ignorantly called jesus his name is yahawashai okay his name is yahawashai means he saves he is the redeemer okay let's go matthew 24 verse 3 and as he sat upon mount olive his favorite tree okay it's olive okay the disciples came unto him privately saying tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world and hear what the king says to him and yahweh shai answered and said unto them take heed that no man deceive you for many shall come in my name saying i am the anointed and shall deceive many and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war see that ye be not trouble for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet for nation shall rise against nation and we are witnessing that right now okay we have ukraine russia going at it we have what uh, israel gaza uh, the whole middle east aka middle east is about to be set on fire we use middle east because there might be new listeners but the proper name for that region is what west asia okay and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war see that ye be not trouble for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places and these are the times that we are living in and that's how we measure prophecy but here we're going to allow the judge ask the colonel a retired u.s army okay colonel lawrence wilkerson appear on the show eh? And then he listened to exactly the question that the judge asked him. And that's she tells you when you look at Biden pooping, po uh, you know, just just pooing himself and people constantly around the clock changing his diaper. And you see the state, the desperation of America. You know that we are at the end. America falls. That's the kingdom of heaven. The moment America, that's right, is set on fire. That is the Yahweh Shai shows up. He's coming. Revelation 18, he says it's going to take him one hour to set America, to one hour to destroy America. Revelation 18, 10. Revelation 18, 17. Revelation 18, 19. The Lord says what? He's eternal. It's going to take one hour. Alas, alas. Babylon the Great. America, the one that you love. Yes, take a good look at America. Your football will be done. Your basketball, your Hollywood, everything is about to be set on fire. That's right. This is how close we are. We are here. We are here. Okay, we are here. So listen to the question. Okay. Fair use act. Fair use act. I think it was at the 15 minute mark. He, he asked the question. The family, I'm not going to play the video. I'm going to just allow him to speak for at least five minutes. Okay. I'm going to try my best not to interrupt. Okay. We see how the spirit moves. But just listen to exactly what he said. Okay. Uh, Judge Napolitano. Uh, owns this video i don't know i do not own this video fair use at fair use at fair use at let's go let me see if this volume is down please bear with me let me see the sound is down okay the sound is down let's do this okay before we segue into uh, our conversation about uh, the latest in gaza a uh, big picture is the american empire collapsing Yes, it is. Uh, the question, uh, the key question for everyone to be asking themselves, especially those in leadership, is how fast? And then the second question is how do we arrest it to a certain extent? You can't stop it. It's impossible. Um, but you can arrest it and you can build a glide slope. That he says something important. He says you cannot stop it. How fast is it? He said you can't stop it because why? This is the prophet. This is prophecy. This is the Lord's doing. 
He said, the word that goes out of my mouth would not return to me void. Family, I said I wasn't going to do this, but family, I couldn't help it. Please forgive me. Second Ezra 9, 1. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, what signs? The prophecies coming to pass, the destruction the Lord that shall proclaim upon the land. Because this destruction is leading to what? The introduction of Yahweh Shai. He said, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, mm, then shall thou well understand. Didn't Yahweh Shai just say that in the book of Matthew 24? Then shall thou well understand that the Most High Yahweh spoke of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. That's how the Lord gets his glory. And he's not going to tell you in the middle of it. No, he tells you from the beginning. Like the way he picked the elect from the beginning of the foundation. That's why that's how he wrote the movie. Eh? He said, Then shall thou well understand that the Most High spoke of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. You hear? It says, For like as all that is made in the world, listen to this, listen to this very, very carefully. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Let's go back to the question he asked. Let's go here. And eh? it says, let me go back again to 15. Oh, come on. 15. To pay attention. He asked the question. And then he said also that why it cannot be stopped. This is the end. They all know the elite. They know that this kingdom is finished. So can you see it? Let's go. And what he might do to try and preserve the possibility. Colonel, before we segue into uh, our conversation about uh, the latest in Gaza, uh, big picture, is the American empire collapsing? Yes, it is. Uh, the question, uh, the key question for everyone to be asking themselves, especially those in leadership, is how fast? And then the second question is, how do we arrest it to a certain extent? You can't stop it. It's impossible. Um, but you can arrest it and you can build a glide slope down which the empire slides, if you will, and um, comes down to be more of a partner in a multipolar world, uh, a partner of equals, really. Not promise inter parries, but parries inter parries, because there are equals in the world now. China, of course, is one of them. Uh, with nuclear weapons, you must say that Russia is one of them, and India comes very close to being one of them. Um, it's a multipolar world now. You can't have a hegemon that is all things to all people 24-7. And we're in such colossal debt right now that if you don't believe the reckoning is coming, you've really got some blinders on. So, Colonel, you if you permit me, I'm going to tramp. You hear that? If you can see the reckoning that is coming, that means you have some blinders on. Everybody see it, but can you see it though? This is the Lord's doing. And there won't be no multipolar world. We know that Esau is the end. When Jacob and Esau came out of Rebecca's womb, there was no other one, there's no other child between them. Esau was hold sorry, Jacob was holding Esau's uh, uh, what's called heel. So the moment Esau falls, guess what? It is Jacob. He said, J Esau is the end of this age. We're going to continue to bring it out. Okay? And give glory to the Lord. But let's go back here. Let's go back to what's my order. Let's go here. Eh? Let's finish here. For like as all that is made in the world, you see, it was made in the world, have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. You are looking at the end of what? America. Eh? You are looking at the end of America. Even so, the times of all... Sorry, even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonder and powerful words and endings in effect and signs. But I want to jump to Second Ezra 6. And we're going to pick it up from verse 6 quickly. And then we're going to bring a few articles. Our family, I don't want this thing to be long. Because if the video is long, family, take about four, six, or close to four to six hours to upload it. So let's go here. Let's go to it. Let's go to chapter 6. Second Ezra chapter 6. Starting from verse 6. Eh? It says here, then did I consider these things. Who considered them? The Lord. Eh? And they were all made through me alone. And through none other by me also they shall be what? Ended. The last leg of the Roman Empire is about to end. This age is about to end. 
Yes, he created it to what? To introduce his son. Yahweh Shai is coming to set up his kingdom of heaven. Kingdom of heaven is going to be set up on this planet. All the nations got a chance to rule on this planet here. And you think the kingdom of heaven is going to be set up in some, some out of space. And you know, uh, people are going to be eating ice cream and flying. And no, it's going to be set up on this planet here. That's what is coming. Okay. And they shall, they, and they all were made through me alone and through none other. By me also, they shall be ended and by none other. You hear that? And then here, listen to this. Then answered I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? You hear that? Again, let me repeat that. Then answered I and said, you know what? Though? The Spirit said I should read it in the Good News Translation. Let's go there quickly. Let me see if I can bring it up. Please bear with me. Bible. No. No thanks. Let's go to uh, Second Ezra. I'm going to go to 6. Verse. Let's pick it up from what? Verse 6. Even then, I decided that since I... And this is the good news translation, okay? Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 6. Even then, I decided that since I, the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, and I alone had created the world, I and I alone will bring it to an end. Then I asked, Ezra is asking a conversation. Ezra is having a conversation with the angel Uriel, right? The one the Lord sent to what revealed to Ezra what's going to be happening. Eh? You see, in the last days. And, you know, what's going to happen to the children of Israel? You know, like we always ask the question, Lord, how much, how long, how long? The same way the apostles approach Yahweh on Mount Olive to ask the Lord, what should we be looking out for? You know, what about our kingdom? When are we going to get our kingdom? That's right. So Ezra is having what? A dialogue with who? The angel Uriel. So listen to this. Then I asked, how long a period of time will divide the ages? When will the first age end? You hear that age? Okay, the first age end and the next age begin. Listen to this. He answered, the interval will be no longer than that between Abraham and Isaac. That's what he meant to say here. This is a, 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 spell, a, a, a written error. Okay, Abraham and Isaac. He was the grandfather of both Jacob and Esau. Okay, and when they were born, Jacob was holding Esau's heel. Listen to this. I don't see any multipolar world. I don't see China. I don't see Russia, India, everybody coming together, the break system in between these people. Eh? Listen to this. Jacob was holding Esau's heel. No multipolar world in between there. Okay? Esau's represent, listen to this. Esau, the white man, the Roman Empire, represent the end of this age, and Jacob represent the beginning of the new age. You hear that? Jacob represent what the beginning of what the new age that is what is coming now family let's go back to uh, the article and actually let's let this man speak for another two minutes and then we're going to get the article okay translate your latin prima inter pares means first among equals pares inter pares means equal among equals does the united states recognize that it has any equals economically politically, militarily? I think the answer to that question is in aggregate, yes. The defense and security complex does recognize China in that sense, and that's the reason they're so angry. Uh, China has stolen the march on them, and uh, they're angry. And they see, some of them anyway, the only way to reverse that situation is a war. Colonel, uh, segueing over to uh, the other hot spot, which is uh, Gaza, since uh, you and I spoke last, uh, two reports have been released, one by the oldest uh, and most highly respected medical journal in the world, the British Lancet, uh, opining that 186,000 Palestinians have been killed from a variety of means, but since October uh, 7th, by the Israeli uh, invasion there. Uh, and the other, a report from Haaretz documenting, using the government's own documents, uh, the employment of the so-called Hannibal Directive and the uh, conclusion that more than half the Israelis that were killed on October 7th were killed by the IDF. Let's start with the 186,000. Did this number startle you? That's 8% of the population 
dead in nine months. It doesn't startle me because I've been getting figures like that from people I trust who are on the ground there. You know, Judge, I, I went through some history books the last two or three days trying to see if in the 20th century or the early part of this century, of course, there had ever been anything equivalent. And I stumbled on one of the things most Americans never read, and that is a European who is, he, he really is one of the finest, if not the finest, historian of World War II. And I got a passage out of there about a fellow by the name of Herbert Friedrich Wilhelm Bakke, who was a Schutzstaffel SS. Um, the Nazis wanted everybody to wear a military uniform, but more importantly, he was state minister of agriculture and food. Right before Barbarossa, the invasion of the Soviet Union by Hitler's Germany, he gave Hitler a paper. And that paper, Hitler then turned into orders to his Wehrmacht generals. The orders were something like this. Germany needs the food in Ukraine. It needs every grain of the food in Ukraine. And to a certain extent, the steps of Russia as you come out of Ukraine. It is going to be a bumper harvest. You will. You will enter into your ledgers and you will issue orders to your corps, your divisions, your regiments to kill everything that moves, dogs, cats, babies, children, horses, people, kill them all. Because if you do not kill them, they will have to have food that you need for the Wehrmacht going eastward and that you need to ship back to Germany so they can't do to us what they did in World War I, try to starve us out with submarine warfare and such, we'll have to feed the German people. So kill everybody. That's astonishing when you read it, and you know it's true. Well, that's what Netanyahu is doing. The number is... Uh... So if you think this man here, Esau Edom, is for you, the men of the Lord have been telling, starting with our head apostles, telling you that this man is the devil. And if you can see, this man is Satan. He is, that's right, he is the red man. Eh? The Lord, the one that the Lord warned you about. That's why the Lord says here, again, we've continued to bring this out. Revelation chapter 6 verse 4. Eh? That's right, we're going to continue to bring it out. Whether you hear or whether you forbear, we're going to continue to warn you. Revelation 6, 4. And there went out another horse. Horse represent power. That was red. A nation of people. Esau came out red. The Lord is speaking about a nation of people. Eh? And power was given to him. What was that power? The sword. Esau's blessing was the sword. His military. That's right. That is his blessing. And it says here, power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth. Blood is nothing in their sight. That's right. They kill for no apparent reason. Because that is the blessing the Lord gave them. That's the role that they are playing in this movie. So when the Lord tells you to stay away from this devil, you think he's joking? When he come up with, uh, what is it called, Nine, uh, three years or four years ago when he, he introduced, you remember that jab jab? The one that he says, ew, it's going to prevent you from catching it. Oh, and you're going to be safe. Safe, 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 safe. How is that working out? How is that working out? And you're going to trust this, this devil? It says here, and there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. You know who's going to take that sword from him? It's Yahweh Shai, the same one that blessed him with the sword, as Isaac. That's right, if you can receive it. You see? So here, the Lord have made this thing very, very clear to us. Who to watch out for farming? I'm going to leave it there. Let's bring the first article. Moscow. And this is from One News 24-7. Moscow will what, put missiles at an equivalent short distance from the USA. The planet in the red. That's right. These days are the most critical. We know that. Why? Because it's the end of the world. There ain't going to be no multipolar world. Again, listen to this. Through the spirit and power of my king, my redeemer, Yahweh Shai. There will be no multipolar world. Okay, after America falls, which Russia is going to destroy America, that's right, and the West, in this third world war, it is Yahweh Shai's kingdom. There ain't going to be no Russia, China, Iran, everybody coming together, holding hands, singing Kumbaya. Oh, this is the multipolar world. Nah, -uh. it's not written. We just went through the precept. 
Esau is the end of this age and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow after Germany in which by 2026 the US wants to install long range missiles France Germany Italy and Poland sign a letter of intent today aiming to develop cruise missiles with a range of more than 500 kilometers so that to fill the gap in the European arsenal revealed they say by Russia's war in Ukraine Russia announced that they are considering changing their nuclear doctrine but they also provided new details of their response. Moscow has declared that it will now allow the balance of power to be overturned in favor of the Americans in Europe and will also install corresponding hypersonic missiles at an equivalently short distance from the territory of the United States. We can make this up. It says it is not specified in which any regions which any regions or other countries this installation will take place. Russia phraseology has hardened mouth that phraseology let's look up that word family please bear with me you gotta look up these words man phraseology I know that's, that's some huge word right there family let's look it up oh no phraseology oh did I oh come on A mode of expression especially one characteristic of particular speaker or writer okay a mode of expression a mode of expression especially one characteristic of particular speaker or writer wedding okay wedding okay Russia let's call it Russia wedding has a eh, hardened a lot today after NATO's latest moves it is characteristics that Today, even the president of the Federal Council, Valentino Matvienko, eh, was placed in a comment to the journalist of the Russia TV network, Pavel Zarubin. As he said, if the United States deploys hypersonic missiles in Germany, Russia's response will be harsh and sufficient. That's all we need to do. That's all we need to get. But now, listen, the F-16s that all these NATO members are saying that uh, they are going to be sending to Ukraine. Eh, it is on your way because Blinken, Anthony Blinken and the uh, United States Secretary uh, Secretary of State came out during the NATO meeting and says yeah, this summer guess what, the, Ukraine, the, the F-16s are going to be flying, eh, that's right and they, uh, yeah, it's going to be flying through uh, Ukraine, you, they're going to be flying uh, what, in the Ukraine sky this summer family, this is the summer this is the summer where the world is going to be set on fire and we can wait, Lord willing like our beloved Apostle Toha, coined 2024 to be the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. Family, we are praying and praying. Family, continue to send those curses out. Day in and day out. You wake up before your feet touch the ground. Send those curses out. We ask the Lord to bring destruction upon this planet here. Eh? Have mercy upon the elect. We say that, for Lord, in the midst of what? In the midst of wrath, remember mercy. Eh? You see? Remember mercy upon your elect. Only the elect. Only the elect. And we pray that we are among the numbers. F-16 deliveries to Ukraine. And by the way, these F-16s are what? Capable of carrying nuclear missiles. That's how Russia is going to treat them. That's right. The F-16s are capable of carrying nuclear missiles. So yeah, Russia is ready. F-16 deliveries to Ukraine begin. Norway, Denmark, and Netherlands send first fighters. If you can see that this is Third World War, man, I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know what else to tell you through the spirit and power of my king. I don't know what to tell you. Mm? <clears throat> the writing is on the wall. This is it. America, it is finished. It is over. The kingdom is coming. Mm? It says, they will fly in the in Ukraine sky this summer. Okay, let's go on. Norway will donate six F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine with deliveries expected in the coming months. It's already their family. The Norwegian government announced Norwegian Prime Minister Jonas uh, Gahar Sturey, eh, who is in Washington for the NATO summit, said deliveries of the F-16s are planned to begin in 2024. Eh? Combined with air defense system, fighter jets will be crucial for the Ukrainians to be able to defend themselves against Russia. Air this is not had nothing to do with Ukraine. Nothing to do with Ukraine protecting anybody. They want that land because that land is what over they said that close to 12 to 20 trillion of resources, particularly lithium. Lithium, and you need those lithium for those batteries, right? 
those EV but oh, EV cars. That's right. The, you need those lithium. That's what Esau is about. Esau is about money, resources. That's it. This war is about resources. All wars, all the wars that these devils fight, they can never have enough. Okay, it's all about resources. It says combined with air defense system, fighter jets will be crucial for the Ukrainians to be able to defend themselves against Russian airstrike. The Norwegian prime minister said. That's right. Eh? This is Anthony Blinken. Like I mentioned earlier, deliveries of the fighter just have begun. Blinken announced. Blinken again, like I said, he's the uh, U.S. Secretary of State, right? NATO countries have begun delivering F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine to bolster its defense against Russia. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken announced today. I am pleased to announce that as we speak, the transfer of F-16 aircraft from Denmark and the Netherlands to Ukraine is underway. The U.S. top diplomat said, speaking at an event on the sidelines of the summit of NATO, we said Tawada Yahawa Bahashem Yahawa Shai. Now, NATO is now doing what? They were now trying to what? That's why established headquarters in the in the Levant, Middle East. Listen to this. You think we're making this up, eh? Because that's where the major war is going to take place. The Third World War, the War of Armageddon, eh? It's going to take place in what? The Levant, also AKA Middle East. Listen to this. Pro News is reporting. NATO descends in the Middle East. The major powers are gathering in the region. Are you listening to this? The major powers are gathering in the region. If this doesn't bring joy to your heart, family, we don't know what is going to make you happy. This should bring joy to your heart, okay? The end of this wicked kingdom we are about to see face to face. Eh? Our king, Lord willing, we are among the number. Yahweh Shai, face to face with Yahweh Shai. <laughs> man, if you don't know what you are involved in, man. Russia reaction expected. In a development that may even lead to new conflict in the Middle East. It's not may new. I don't like the word may. It shall. It is coming. There's nobody can stop. Even he himself said, no. America, it is over. Nothing can stop it. They know. They are worried because these people, yeah, yeah, they, they have, yeah. You know, they think America, the world is going to go on forever. They're going to continue to, you know, that's what, that's the thought of Esau. Esau is so proud, eh? He says their inward thought is what? Their kingdom is going to go on forever. Come on, you guys supposed to be. You are scholars. What happened to Daniel chapter 2 and for Daniel chapter 7? I always go there. The Lord set up the kingdoms. Eh? And we are breaking it down to, and we are niggers. The niggers are breaking this down to you through the spirit and power of our king, our redeemer, Yahweh Shai. Always starting with our head apostles. Yeah, the niggers. The one you be calling niggers. Yeah, these are the prophets. Yeah. Hey, we didn't go to your institution. We don't have PhD in a, in a theology. We didn't go to Oxford. We didn't go to Cambridge. Hey, but look at who the Lord is using hey, to condemn your society. Hey, we are it's just we are just using our mouth. Wait till our big brother shows up. Wait till Yahweh Shai shows up. Hey, you don't know what is coming, man. It says here. NATO in the country in the, let me let me start from the top. Sorry, sorry, family. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I veer off there. It says in the development that may even lead to a new conflict in the Middle East, and eh, Jordan drops eh, NATO in the country in a move that turns the country into the center of international development, and everyone is waiting to see what the reaction of the other powers will be. The King of Jordan, which is what a, pup, a puppet for the American and a, a, a puppet for the Western hegemony. That's right. You see, the king of Jordan eh, has agreed to open a NATO headquarters in the country's capital, Amman. This move has already been commented on as a move to protect Israel, as it had done with Iran's massive attack on Israeli targets when Jordan had not only closed the border, but was also shooting down targets. That's right. Jordan is in the, in, in, in the back pocket of what? Israel and the West. The move is part of the organization's plan to strengthen its involvement in the Middle East and Africa region, the organization said in a statement. Russia, Iran, and China have huge interests and alliances, and NATO now appears to be adding to the massive buildup of forces in the region amid the ongoing Israeli-Hamas war in Gaza. Because this is what the Lord is doing. That's where the war of Armageddon. Family, I'm going to leave it there. Because why? Let's go to Joel chapter 2. No, I think Joel 3 quickly. Let's go to Joel. Do I have my Bible? What happened here? Let's go to Joel. Eh? Mm. Let's go to Joel. Joel. 
the world three. For behold, in those days, in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, that's what the Lord is about to do. He's about to save the remnant. Because guess what? The same thing happened in Egypt. What did the, before Yahweh shall kill the firstborn of every beast and every 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 man? What did the Lord do? He passed over the Israelite, right? He delivered them and then he brought destruction, right? He says here, I will also gather all nations. Eh? And will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. That's the Levant. And will plead. You go back and look up that word. Let's look it up the word quickly. The, the word plead goes into what? Judge, right? Let me go back here. Please bear with me. The word plead. Let's look up the word plead. Hmm? Plead. Shapat, right? It's what? To judge. That's what the Lord is about to judge. It's about to judge these nations. Eh? Govern, vindicate, punish. That is what is coming. When he says he plead, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lord is about to pour his fury upon these devils. That is what is coming. Okay, now let's go back and read it. It says here, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Meaning what? The Lord has, the Lord has judged. Let's look up that word also, Jehoshaphat. Eh? Jehoshaphat goes into what? Yahweh Shaphat, right? The Lord has judged. It says here, you see? Yahweh has judged yes this word is yeah let's pronounce it strong's h 3092 yehoshaphat 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 okay the lord has that one judge it's about to pour it upon all these nations about to turn the, their missiles that's why the lord blessed them with the technology to destroy themselves and you see I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. That is what the Lord is about to judge them. Because when the Lord always goes back to what? It's all about Israel. The Lord don't care about any other nation. Let me go here quickly. Let's go to Amos. Amos 3. The rest of the nation, the Lord compared them to what? Like a drop in the bucket. Okay, we, the children of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, African American, Native American, you are the only one that the Lord knows. Amos chapter 3 verse 1, family, we have the precept to support it. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt singing listen to this amos chapter 3 verse 2 you only have i known of all the families of the earth therefore i will punish you for all your iniquities that's why he sent us into captivities he didn't send these nations into captivity that's right he sent only the children of israel we are everywhere eh? that's right continent of africa europe and uh, asia we are everywhere caribbean that's right that's not our home it's the Lord that did it. We are the only nation he cares about. Okay, family, let's go here. Let's go here. Hmm? I just want to make a quick point there. Now, let's get the next article. Yeah, so NATO, they're all gathering there for in the Middle East. Because I just we just read in the book of Joel. It is the Lord that is gathering them. That's why you, it's better to fear the Lord. The king of Jordan has agreed to open a NATO headquarters in the country's capital, Amman. This move has already been commented on as a move to protect Israel, as it had done with Iran's massive attack on Israeli targets when Jordan had not only closed the border but was, but was also shooting down targets. This is during the, when, Iran, when Iran attacked Israel a few months ago. That's why right, Jordan was helping Israel. Okay? They was actually shooting down some of what the Iranian drones. Russia, Iran, and China have huge interests and alliances, and NATO now appears to be adding to the massive buildup. The massive buildup is being done by the Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai of forces in the region amid the ongoing Israeli Hamas war in Gaza. I will leave it there. Eh? So this is what is happening, and you should be rejoicing. Mm? NATO summit irreversible Ukraine's path to membership irreversible why did this special military operation start because russia says we don't want ukraine to become a member of nato because to become a member of nato they're going to put missile directly right at the uh russian border that's why russia decided to take over ukraine 
that's why this military operation started to begin with so now they are saying that what it's irreversible they are not going back because why they want war with russia and they're going to get it nato member state pledged to support ukraine on its irreversible part to joining the alliance while remaining willing to keep communication channels open with moscow to avoid an escalation you see these people you see they're speaking they, 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 they're speaking from from both sides of their mouth that's Esau. You can't trust anything that comes out of the, the mouth of Esau. The Lord says they come out of their mother's womb speaking lies. Eh? You know this man. He is the devil, the deceiver. Eh? Eh? So when the Lord... Oh man, this Bible is just beautiful. Let's continue. Let's continue. Family. It says here... What was I saying? It says the draft also calls China a crucial partner in Russia's war effort in Ukraine and says Beijing continue to pose system, systemic european and security challenges i'm can someone please l let me know how many countries uh china colonized and how many china sorry how many countries russia colonized no you see the devil is esau eden but he never hold himself accountable though that's why yahawashah is the one showing up he that's right read the book of isaiah 63 and eh? he's the one coming up he's the only one that's going to be able to put this devil down okay so family i will leave that there so yeah, they want escalation, escalation, escalation. They want that war because the West is broke. Even he said it. The colonel said it. He says they are broke. Everything is falling apart. This is the end of a kingdom. And then you know the end of a kingdom when Biden introduced, uh, what is it called, Zelensky. Listen to this. This is during the summit. He said, Biden at the NATO summit, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the president of Ukraine, Vladimir Putin. Then he realized what he said and introduced Velensky. Yeah. He says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Yeah. Russia eventually is going to be what? Putin is going to be the president of Ukraine very soon because he's going to take over Ukraine. That's right. This man is finished. And that's that you're looking at the fall of a kingdom. Eh? That's what the Lord is doing. The Lord says he has made you vile, a gazing stock. The whole world is laughing at America. Because why? The Lord is showing his power. And you know who you need to fear? Fear the Lord. Let's go to Nahum. Let's go here quickly to Nahum. And we're going to end this family. Uh, let's go to Nahum. Where is it? Nahum 3. Nahum 3. It says here, Nahum 3, it's a woe to the bloody city, which is today modern day America, because the same thing that was happening in Nineveh is happening right now in America. You see, spiritual Nineveh, eh? spiritual Egypt, spiritual Sodom, eh? woe to the bloody city, it's full of lies and robbery. The prey departed not, and we are the prey. Eh? We're still here, we're still in our captivity, and they're taking full advantage of us. We build their kingdom, and guess what? The roads are about to be reversed. It's called Trading Places. Watch that movie, family. It's a good movie, and that's what is coming. We're going to go from the bottom, Lord willing, Yahweh Rathaza, the bottom to the top. And that is the good news. That's why the Bible, that's what the gospel means. The gospel means good news to who? The Israelite. But this time around, the elect. Eh? It says here, I'm going to jump to verse, uh, verse, uh, verse 5. It says, Behold, I am against thee, says the Lord Yahweh of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness, your sins, eh? and the kingdom thy shame. Because everybody now looking at America, man, this is the nation that we follow. These people are vile, morally bankrupt. Eh? Look, at, look, at, look at the society. Look at their infrastructure. Look at their ideas, democracy, all these things that they push all over the world. They don't even believe in it. They do not believe in it. Look, man, and the whole world is seeing it. The whole world is seeing it. You talk freedom of speech. You can say whatever your heart desire. They will clip your channel. They will take your channel down. No. You speak against what? The establishment? Yeah, that's what's going to happen. But we say, because the, the Lord is revealing them. It is over for this devil. Listen to this. It says here, again, verse 6 now. It says here, and I will cast abominable filth upon thee. And make thee vile and will set thee as a gazing stock. That's American today. A gazing stock. Eh? A gazing stock. That's what the world is said. The Lord Yahweh Shai is showing his power. The Lord Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, is showing his power. Psalm 75, and we're gonna wrap this up soon. Soon, family. Few precepts, and we we're gonna wrap this up. Psalm 75, 4. I said unto the fool, deal not foolishly, and to the wicked, lift not up thy horn. Let's look up the word wicked. I haven't looked it up uh, recently. Let's look up the word wicked. Eh? 
you know it's always it's rasa always referring to esau edom and we have the wicked of our people but the actual wicked wicked is the seed of esau okay wicked criminal guilty one one guilty of crime that's why that's why the lord is about to judge this devil for what they've done to the children of israel one what one guilty of a crime that's why right. he hasn't paid for what he has done to the children of israel yet so that judgment is coming wicked hostile to the power because they do everything the lord said we should not do eh? the lord said go be fruitful and multiply esau said no i'm going to put two men together two women together so that they can never be fruitful and multiply i'm going to uh, create baby deleting clinic in every corner so that what they can never be multiplied esau says what the world is overpopulated you didn't think that the lord yahweh by hashem yahushai the creator of the heaven thought of all those things he says go and be fruitful and multiply but the devil esau says don't do it that's why he's the adversary that's why he's satan satan is simply adversary and and that's esau edom the one the lord is coming to judge okay you see and he's going to show you right here he says listen listen lift not up your horn and speak not with a stiff neck for promotion listen to this for promotion coming neither from the east nor from the west for nor from the south but the power is the judge you hear that the power yahweh by hashem yahusha is the judge he put it down one he's about to put down this kingdom about to put out put down esau's kingdom and elevate uh jacob's kingdom that's right he ruled it in the kingdom of men everything that is happening right now the lord is in control of it you have no power for promotion coming neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south but the power is the judge he puts it down one and set it up another and esau second ezra again he says here then answered i and said what shall be the parting asunder of the times or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow it and then he says what and he said unto me from abraham unto isaac when jacob and esau were born of him jacob's hand held first the heel of esau and what yes for esau today they're known as the caucasian the european the british the swedish the denmark the german the american the canadian that's right it's the end of the world this world was given to the hand of the wicked malachi 1 foretells you who the wicked are the border of wickedness is what esau edom the self-proclaimed white man his biblical name is what esau the esau name was changed to edom they are the edomites and jacob that's right the you so-called negroes latinos african american native american that's right is the beginning of it that following salvation is only for the israelite you hear that we say brakata yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem beloved i hope you were edified shalom